Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about alkene addition reaction stereochemistry. But first, let's do a little refresher on regiochemistry. In the previous video, if you haven't watched it, please go back and do so. We went over the regiochemistry of double bonds. For example, suppose we have this structure and we add HBr via a Markovnikov, sorry if I botched that crazy complicated word, Markovnikov, the bromine group is going to add to the more substituted carbon, a part of the initial double bond. So the initial double bond has two carbons. Let's label them purple and blue. Via the Markovnikov addition, the bromine is going to add to the blue carbon. So you write down the original structure and you get rid of the double bond. You add an H to the less substituted carbon and you add the bromine to the more substituted carbon. And that is addition of HBr to a double bond via the Markovnikov. We also went over if you add HBr via an anti-Markovnikov, Anti Markovnikov. Anti Markovnikov. You get the opposite. So the bromine will add to the less substituted carbon, a part of the initial double bond. So the bromine will add to the purple carbon, and the hydrogen will add to the blue carbon. And that was the regiochemistry. But in addition to regiochemistry, we also need to get the stereochemistry correct. So let's consider this structure again. The exact same structure. And, and let's pretend you are at the park. There's grass on the ground, grass. It's a nice sunny day, there's clouds in the sky. The sun is shining. Sun. And you come and try to greet this structure. Pretend you're standing right beside this structure. It would look like this or something like this. You could say hi to one another. Hey, structure. And the structure would say, hey, buddy, how's it going? Pretend, though, you get a ball thrown at you by a little kid that was playing football with his friends. And you're really angry. And you want to take it out on somebody that is near you. So you go and you push over this structure. So right now, if the structure is standing on two legs, you push it backwards and it falls onto its back. Pretend it falls, oh no, onto its back. This double bond would then look like this. So the two legs would technically be on wedges. Yes, this is going to be a very funny way to draw a double bond but it is the best way to understand the stereochemistry of addition reactions. So for now, hold with me. On the carbon on the left-hand side, there would also be a hydrogen. So this hydrogen would now be on a dash going into the page because you're pretending that you went in front of this compound and you ran at it, boom! And in the process of doing so, this compound fell backwards onto its back. So the CH3 group, on the right hand side would also be on a dash and you feel victorious you're towering over this structure that is now on its back now let's pretend that hbr is also at the playground it is a bird h is a bird and br is a bird so h flies in and the br flies in they're both individual birds these two birds could either fly and add to the double bond from the top, so they fly in, boom, add from the top, or they could fly in and add from the bottom, boom. So flying in and adding from the top would look like this, boom. Flying in and adding from the bottom would look like this. And if they add both to the top or both from the bottom, we are going to refer to this addition as sin addition. So they're both flying in and adding from the top, boom. Or they're both flying in and adding from the bottom, boom. In both cases, we are going to refer to this as sin addition. So both of them sin adding from either the top or the bottom. 
and we can add via, once again, Markovnikov or anti-Markovnikov. So drawing this structure again, let's say the hydrogen adds from the top and the bromine adds from the bottom. The hydrogen coming in flying, boom, adding from the top and the bromine group flying in and adding from the bottom, boom. This would be referred to as anti-addition. So we can either add HBr via sin addition or anti-addition, where sin means both the hydrogen and the bromine are going to add both from the top or the bottom, boom, or boom, via the Markovnikov or anti-Markovnikov. And anti would be where the hydrogen and the bromine add from different sides. So the bromine would come from the bottom, boom, and the hydrogen from the top, boom. Or the opposite case, the bromine could add from the top, boom, and the hydrogen from the bottom, boom. And that would be referred to as anti-addition. So we've done a little animation of this to go over the concept of what is going to happen. So let's actually look at an example and what type of products form via sin and anti-addition of HBr to a double bond. We're going to keep our double bond in this weird drawing where the substituents are on dashes and wedges. So let's say we add HBr sin addition via the anti-Markovnikov, anti-Mark. So what does sin mean? Sin refers to the fact that they're both going to add from the top or both add from the bottom. So let's say we add from the top. Let's do the example from the top first, and then we'll do the example from the bottom. So if both H and BR come and add from the top, what I want you to picture is them flying in like they're a bird and smashing into the structure, smash. What that's going to do is it's going to get rid of the double bond. And if they both smash from the top, smash, the force of them doing so is going to push the substituents downward, downward, just like that. And you are going to eliminate the double bond. But via anti-Markovnikov, the bromine is going to add to the less substituted carbon and the hydrogen is going to add to the more substituted carbon. So in the end, we're going to have, draw your substituents as is. The bromine attached to the less substituted carbon, a part of the initial double bond. And the hydrogen is going to be attached to the more substituted carbon, a part of the initial double bond. So this would be sin addition of HBr via anti-Markovnikov from the top. But now, the H and the Br could have also approached from the bottom. So drawing in our original double bond. And yes, this drawing is technically incorrect, I am just drawing it like this to show you what is happening or how you could picture this in your mind to get the correct products. This time, let's say HBr comes in from the bottom. So we have HBr sin addition from the bottom anti-Markovnikov. So now... Like I said, we want to think of them as a bird and they're going to come in and they're going to smash into this structure. But right now, since they're coming in from the bottom, they're going to smash from the bottom. So you think force, the force of coming in and smashing from the bottom is going to push all the groups upwards. So the direction the groups will move is going to be in the same direction of the force of the incoming group. So HBR is coming in, smashing up. So that means the groups have to move upwards. So these groups are going to move up. Up. So now for my product, 
draw in the structure without the double bond. And then for the regiochemistry, they tell us it's anti-Markovnikov, so we know the bromine has to add on the less substituted carbon. And the hydrogen is going to add to the more substituted carbon. And there you go. Oh, these would be the two products you would obtain if you added HBr to a double bond. Syn addition, so that would be the stereochemistry, and the regiochemistry was anti-Markovnikov. Okay, taking the same double bond, what if I told you the reaction proceeded adding H and OH anti-mark regiochemistry, but this time the stereochemistry was also anti. So what do we do? The concept is the same, but this time the H and the OH need to come from opposite sides. So for the first example, let's say the H comes from the top and the OH comes from the bottom. Which carbon they approach is dependent on the regiochemistry. So we know that this is an anti-Markovnikov reaction. So that means the OH has to approach the less substituted carbon and the hydrogen has to approach the more substituted carbon. And what they're going to do is they're going to smash into those respective carbons. And the groups attached to those carbons are either going to move up or downwards, depending on the direction of the smash. If the atom smashes downwards, the groups also move down. If the atom smashes upwards, boom, the group moves up. So the H, let's say in example number one, will smash downwards from the top. What happens, drawing our structure without the double bond, is the group on the dash is going to move downwards, and then the H is on top. But now for the left-hand side of the structure, the OH group is going to smash from the bottom. Boom, smash up. So the group on the wedge is going to move up towards the top. So the H is still up, but now the wedge group, the CH3, is also going to move up. And the OH will be drawn going downwards because it came from the bottom. And that would be our product. So now let's do the opposite case. Let's say the hydrogen smashed from the bottom and the OH smashed from the top. Where we're adding H and OH, anti-stereochemistry, anti-addition. And the regiochemistry is anti-Markovnikov. So, starting on the left-hand side with the OH group. If the OH comes in from the top and smashes downwards, boom! The group on the dash is going to end up going down. So, the wedge group is already down. But now the hydrogen on a dash must also be pointed down. And the OH is on top. For the hydrogen, it's going to come from the bottom and smash, and it's going to smash upwards. Boom! So the group on the wedge is going to move into the up position. The group on the dash was already up. It just stays put in the up position. And the H gets drawn in on a straight line, coming from the bottom. Or in other words, I can say I draw the H going downwards towards the ground. Because it came from the bottom. So these would be your two products of adding H and OH if the stereochemistry was anti-addition and the regiochemistry was anti-Markovnikov. So we would get these two products. All right, guys, that is pretty much it on adding HBr or any H and other reagent to a double bond via anti or syn addition. I hope this video made sense. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns in the comment section. And please make sure to leave a like, comment, save, and or subscribe to my channel if you like my content and want to keep supporting more. All right, have a good night, guys. Bye!